I have some uh, scrap steel that I'm trying to harvest some uh, steel off of. The price is still anymore if you don't recycle it just to use for anything you need. You're silly because it's a very expensive. But I'm going to try to use the cutting torch and clean some of this off. A gouging tip of my cutting torch. I'll show you what that is here. This is a, a gouging tip. Um, demonstrate how that's used in a little bit here. As you can see it has a curve. It just helps you uh, hold that your torch a little easier. Now, this is a number two. The number on it is this a 6290 which is a standard Harris number and then it says 2GG which I would imagine that sounds for, stands for gouging but this is and it's also uh, LP alternative fuel tip and so is the one I'm taking out of here this whole torch is a setup is a low pressure torch which is, uh, I explained it a couple times, but it just doesn't have as much pressure at the regulator, and the oxygen actually sucks the uh, LP gas through the line, and it keeps it adjusted right. You don't have to do too much adjusting, which makes it nice, simply, simple to use. I'll probably never ever use a acetylene torch unless I have no option whatsoever. Unless I'm out of LP gas. Probably never use uh, acetylene again, like I said. Of course, you got to have the cutting head uh, to take a low pressure. Which normally you can tell on Harris's, uh, this part of the torch, cutting torch is longer, a good maybe half inch longer. In one of my other videos I showed the difference between this and a, a regular acetylene torch. But also you can tell uh, from the indentation, low pressure torch or well not low pressure torch actually yes low pressure torch is always LP because you can't do that with acetylene because acetylene would actually feed too much so there's a problem there which I'm not sure exactly what it is but you know you can't use it it doesn't work now this is this is what I like to use a gouging tip for
Well, that's a start.